I remember at one point I thought that, you know, if you could show the guy who's kicking the civil rights kid at a lunch counter and kicking him on the ground, these horrific pictures, that that would somehow change them if they could just see themselves, really see themselves. I grew up in Northern Virginia. I went to segregated schools. In some ways feeling, you know, angry and deprived because I didn't get to encounter any black kids. We lived in completely separate worlds. It was just like this weird racial thing, you know, where it's like these people go to a different school because they're of a different race, and yet there were all these other races in our school. The Arab kids and the Japanese guy who was president of the senior class and captain of the football team. By law, we were declared white. I was very concerned about values as a kid, and then early on in college, I got very excited by documentary and cinema verite. I wanted to go into the world and observe and watch things and see what was happening and be able to respond. The great breakthrough was really the first Taylor Chain film. Now let me explain something to you. A senior electrician at Taylor Chain was only making $4.19 an hour. A student electrician in the steel mills is making $3.95 an hour and he don't know his ass from a hole in the ground. This strike erupts in a steel workers union and the pivotal moment is when the staff man from the United States Steel Workers of America is trying to convince the workers to go back to work. You're giving us nothing to go on. What, what are we going to say when we go back? You turned it down, they're going to say, well, what? Then, and they shout them down and the meeting goes up for grabs and there's all this yelling and screaming and it's, it's complete chaos. Would you listen to me? What we wanted was for people to see this is democracy in action. This is, you know, at that time everybody thought of unions as a bunch of fat guys in a back room making deals. And it's like, no, these are people who are working in this small plant. These are the people who are actually running the machines. And, you know, it's their livelihood. They're passionate about it and they vote on things. Not everybody's happy and there's a real back and forth. I what two people say. I got three kids. I'm hurting just as well as anybody else is around here. And if you go for this contract, I'll tell you what, it's up to you. I'll leave it up to you. And we would show this thing and you could hear a pin drop. People were riveted. They picked up on what was in the movie, which is like, this is exciting. This is democracy in action. This, you know, reminds you of what unions can be. So we knew this stuff was powerful. We were out there showing the films, you know. We were taking them into places and showing them and screening them and being in that dialogue with the people that were, we were trying to make the change. We wanted to get people up in arms and, and to run out the door to the hospital and saying, we have a right to this, you know. It's like we're demanding that you know, this center not be closed or that we can have our babies at home. The choice should be there for a woman if she wants her baby born in a hospital or if she wants her baby born at home. Just to have them at home like that was great. It was, it is. I enjoyed it and I'd recommend it for anybody. That dialectical relationship is, it's what I value personally and it's what I think the organization, you know, wants to have at its core. You need to speak out about what you believe in. If you look at the New Americans, immigration is a big issue that's coming up in the country. And if it's going to be, if there's going to be a lot of debate about it, a lot of disagreement about it, the people who are being disagreed about should be a part of that. They should be at the table. And the New Americans was really an attempt to do that. If I were to stay in Nigeria, they might probably kill me. At least in America will be saved. I'll be free, not discriminated against. My favorite response to the movie showed up on the talkback things on the independent lens. I see what you people are up to. And you know, you want me to see these people as human beings and as, you know, kind of like caring about their families and sort of just like me. 
And you sort of did, and I resent it. It's like, good, I'll take that. That's exactly what I want.